Shocking. Namdi Kanu releases a fresh warning to Biafrans, orders to take actions against Tinumbu. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on the time and where you're listening to this news from. This is breaking news. News in details. I heard of Supreme Court decision on December 15th about his detention. Mazin Namdi Kanu, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, or IPOB, has warned his supporters to exercise caution. Before the verdict, Mazi Namdi Kanu warned his supporters to be on the lookout for any plots by individuals he called the fifth columnist to rock the boats. Nambi Kano sent a message to his supporters on Tuesday at a meeting with his legal team at the Department of State Services facility in Abuja, according to his special counsel, Aloy Ejimako. Remember that Mazin Nambi Kano was taken into custody against again in Kenya in June 2021 and endured an unprecedented rendition. Federal government had charged Mazinam de Kanu with four counts of pre-rendition until his return to Nigeria. All, all but one of the four charges in the charge were withdrawn by the previous Attorney General of Nigeria, Abuba Kamalami, who replaced them with a 14 count accusations that bordered on terrorism and also participation in the prohibited organization. The Federal High Court eventually lowered the charges to seven counts in response to request. However, the Court of Appeal the later overturned this decision. The Nigerian government has declined to release Mazin Namdekan even after he was cleared and released. Ojimako charged the following update on his ex andu on Tuesday. I just left today's visitation with Onyendu Namdekan in the presence of my colleagues. He said that he directed that he, as we count down to December 15, the royal faithful should be vigilant to any plot by the fifth columnist to rock the boat and pin the blame on our people. Our Nazi sent strong message to President Bola Metinumbu, urge him to free IPOB leader as Christmas gift. Strong Igbo organization, our Nazi Igbo asked the Nigerian government to free Namdi Kanu, IPOB leader as Christmas present for the southeast. On his ending, we also claims that Namdi Kanu has already left exonerated twice by the court and that his ongoing arrest is unjust. The elevation of justice, Samani Aruno, to the Supreme Court raises questions. The court had previously reminded Kanu without filing charges. The leaders of the indigenous people of Biafra released by the Nigerian government as a Christmas gift for the Southeast, according to a well-known Igbo sociopolitical organization called Oanese Indigo. Anything less than Namdi Kanu's release, according to Vice President Chief Damia Okeke Ogene, would be a terrible blow to the hopes of the Southeast during the Christmas season. In response to allegations <coughs> that well-known Igbo people like and local governors were involved in Namdi Kanu's prolonged arrest, OKK Organet dismissed the allegations as baseless. He also underlined that Mazin Namdi Kanu 
has already been exonerated twice by competent courts, but also the government has not even yet acted on their rulings, according to the punch, because past President Yaradua and Jonathan successfully addressed the Niger Delta issue via negotiation and compromised. He also asked President Bola Metinbu to do the same. He said that we prefer not to long on the political aspect of Mazin Abdekanu's release. If he is set free on December 15, it is long overdue, given the court's previous ruling of his innocence and subsequent releases, yet no action has been taken. He also added that, hence, we expect the Supreme Court to deliver justice, hoping that President Bola Metinubu recognizes that the resources and the lives spent on this matter aren't justifiable. Releasing Namdi Kano as a Christmas gesture to the southeast is essential to restore peace in the region. Additionally, he berated the administration for not working with Finland to handle the problem of IPOP's anonymous aim, which is headed by Simon Ekpa and is allegedly responsible for escalating instability in the region. According to report, he said that we expect the federal government finds pleasure in Simon Ekpa's actions in Finland. Alternatively, a diplomatic solution exists for this government to government issue. Yet, the federal government hasn't pursued this path for resolution. Thank you viewers for listening to this news. You have heard it all from Namdi Kano giving a stain warning to the Biafrans, as telling Biafrans never to allow any obstruction uh, during his ruling, his next ruling, which is which was dated December 15, 2023. Nam can also send messages to his supporters at a meeting with his legal team at a venue, which is the venue is the DSS Department their State Services. That's DSS. He, according to his special convoy, he's saying that he's, he's telling his supporters to be at a lot be at the last always because these people will definitely come and try to stop his his release or his release and try to obstruct his the release from the federal government so it's saying that they should not allow that to happen they should make sure the security is um all over the premises so that they, they will not be able or they cannot be able to do that which they have planned and that plan will definitely fail so viewers what is your take on what you just heard your comment concerning this news will be very much appreciated don't hesitate to drop your comment below the comment box click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to receive notifications each time we upload new videos thank you